Hey YouTube, this is Kiko Kaiser. I am going to be doing a deck profile here of uh, Dark Irregulars. I don't have the whole deck gathered up yet, but I've been playtesting it with proxies and such anyway. I figured I'd get a uh, deck profile of version 1.0 while I'm still in the process of building it. Uh, that way, when I actually finish gathering it all, I'll be at a more advanced build of it. So. <clears throat> So this is what the deck's like so far. Uh, your starter, the Vermilion Gatekeeper, and the required trigger lineup right now of 8 stand, 4 crit, 4 heal. There's nothing else we can play. I really hate running 8 stand in this deck. It's kind of terrible. Um, there's so many times that the stands are just go to waste and I'd rather have a draw trigger or another crit. But that's all we can do for now until next month. Grade ones, uh, four Doreen, four Mon, four March Rabbit, and three Succubus. Um, you may notice for starters that there's no uh, Prisoner Beast. There's no Prisoner Beast because mostly because of these two. Basically, these two will always be bigger than the Prisoner Beast. These two are kind of like running uh, 9Ks boosters, especially him. He's always an Endorine when you can pull off combos and such. Um, yeah, I don't feel the need to run the Prisoner Beast when I have 7 9K boosters. Um, I'm not saying he's bad, it's just in this version right now as it is. I haven't found the need for him versus these. Instead of the beast, uh, I wanted to play the succubus because she's pretty good. This is a cat 7k and she can soul charge, which would make her a 9k. It's just another one that would trigger her. And then the four march hair is pretty obvious. It's a perfect guard. Under the grade twos, we got four Amon, really good, teamed up with this or this. That's a 20k attack. Then we got three wolf. Um, I love the art on this card; it's so cool. Uh, the only reason, the reason I'm running three is I had to. I originally was running four, and then three of the uh, decadent succubus. But this decadent succubus has play tested so good. Turn two is the vanguard that I switched it and made it three wolf, four succubus, just to make it more likely that I can play her as my vanguard turn two. Her as the Vanguard turn to really sets the deck up to from that point on go off really good and big. Um, then we go to the grade threes. Uh, four Still Vampire and four Amon. Amon is probably the ideal Vanguard most of the time. Oh, a lot of the time he's a, he's probably at least the finish. Well, it's hard to argue because both of these can be argued as a finisher. And Wolf can make argue as a good can, uh, starting vanguard. Either way, they're both good because when you have the vampire as the vanguard, every turn he'll be soul charging and triggering your Doreens. And because there's really not really any counter blast in the deck other than a mon, it's really easy to pull off the mega blast considering how much you soul charge. So he's kind of like a finisher. Um, and he's good most of the game because he'll trigger Doreen and Soul Charge. And then there's Amon who's big all the time. You could almost say he's a finisher because he'll come out and swing for a big number, but same thing with the Vampire, vampire he has his skill. Um, and then he has his skill where the only counter blast in the deck where you would counter blast par pulling more cards in the soul and killing off opponents for your guards. And both of them make great vanguards. Um, I like them both. Uh, either way, either one is the Vanguard is great. So that's it for this. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, as I finished up gathering the stuff I need, like the rest of the grade threes and the rabbits, uh, I'll make another profile. So it'll be version 1.1. So thanks for watching.